This is Marion. You are going to travel with me through memory lane where we will discover your phone calls the places I've been, the places where I have experienced things in my life. Let me pack my bag. We're going now, everyone. Oh, goodbye. This show was brought to you today by Tiger Eye 4C, Crispy 808, Gordo, and Robert Dubois. Thank you all for your kind and generous support. You're ugly as hell. Oh, well, thank you, Miriam. Thank you so much for the, the kind words. Don't ever shave your face again. You look like a little boy. Yeah, I've been told that. And even though I'm, uh, I'm in my 30s, um, if I go and buy alcohol, I still get carded. That's why I tend to grow out a beard, because then, uh, you know, if you have a beard, then you're obviously not a child. But um, when you're clean shaven, you get carded, if, if you look like me. <laughs> you look all 13. All right, well, thank you, Miriam. Thank you. I am young at heart. I don't function well in society, so this is as close to society as I'm willing to get. And um... You're stupid. All right, well, thank you, Miriam. Thank you. You're so kind to me. Thank you. You know, maybe I should just end this right now, okay? No more show. No more. All right? How about that, Miriam? You like that idea? No! All right, then. So be nice to me, okay? Otherwise, I turn it off. And we stop the show, and it's all over for you, okay? No one will hear about your adventures. No one will ever care about you ever again, okay? I don't want that. You look nice today, dear. Okay? You look fine. I, I like your, your shaven face. You look beautiful. Thank you, Miriam. Thanks for calling VCars. Please view our website for data privacy information. All calls are recorded. Oh, you are now being connected to an operator. Hello, Vikas. Yes, hello. I need, I need a ride from Bristol to Edinburgh Castle. From where? From Bristol to Edinburgh Castle. Right, so whereabouts in Bristol? Oh, I'm right in Bristol. Sorry? I can be picked off from anywhere, I, I suppose. You tell me where to go. I'll go there. Right, so where's your address? I haven't got one. I, I'm here at the senior care facility. Right, and you're going to where? Edinburgh Castle. Edinburgh Castle. Yes, yes. Right. So, what is your address? No, I haven't got an address. So, where do you live? On the street. On the street. Yes. Okay. Yes. So, where are you phoning me? Uh, phoning from right now? It's a senior care facility. My horseman put me in here ten years ago. He passed. I'm still here. But I, I just need to get to the castle. Right, so how are you going to pay for this? Oh, I, I have the paper money. I don't, I don't trust credit. Yeah. Sorry? The cash. It's always cash. Yeah. Right, so where are you? I'm in the driveway, dear. The cars are honking at me. They don't want to pick me up. Right, so where do you live? Yes, uh, 70 o'clock, I'll Sorry? 
A seventy. Gloucester Road. Right. So, what's your name? Miriam. Thank you very much. Hello. And you're going to Edinburgh Castle. Post haste. Right, so you're saying Edinburgh Castle? Yes, yes. No, I'm afraid we were, I haven't got anything available at the moment to do that. How close can you get me to the castle? Yeah, I'm afraid you are ringing the wrong company. Oh, well, where can you get me? I can follow the taxi. I need to get there right away. Yeah, I'm afraid you're phoning a veterinary service. What? No, no, no. You, you, you told me this was me, Carlos. What, what a court. So you're lying right to me. You're lying right to my face. No, I'm, I'm afraid we won't be able to do it. Wow, I guess, um, I guess they're a veterinary service, huh? No, they're the cars. The worst taxi service in the UK. Oh, okay, I get it. Alright, let's try another one. Hey there, guys. Hello? Hi. Yes, I did. I did a ride to the Ten Canal Street, Manchester. Where are you, ma'am? Up at 121 Taylor Street. One number? In Manchester. 121 Taylor Street. In, in Gorton. Gorton. And where are you going? Yes. Where are you going? Ten Canal Street. All right, beloved, it takes about 15. 15 minutes, 10 15 minutes, okay? All right, dear. And will you send the band, child band? It's for yourself? Yes, Hello? it's for me. It's for yourself. Yes, All right, it's I'll just send for some. me. Okay, I'll send somebody. Yeah. Thank you. Right. All right, yes. Thank you. Bye. Oh, yes. Bye, child. See you. Yes. Bye. I'm so moist. Do you want to see me, Fanny? What, sorry? Do you want to see my Fanny? No, my it's dad is coming. Moist. My dad is coming, okay? Thank you. Your dad is coming? Yeah, coming, 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 yeah. Oh, you're coming? Oh, my, yes. Thank Would you. Would you like to show me? Yeah. Yeah? All right, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, what's that in the background? Bye. Miriam, he only meant he was sending the taxi, not not the other thing you thought. Oh, I know what he meant. Oh, yes, I know what he meant. Oh, God. All right, let's move on. Morning, yellow cabs. Yes, hello. I need hello? a cab. Yes, I need a cab uh, from Tempermead Station. To hello? The back of, yes, can you hear me? I can hear you, love. Are you all right? Yes, yes. I'm fine. Sorry? I, I'm, yes, I'm fine, dear. Yeah, um, you were in Temple Mead Station, yeah? Yes, yes. Where are you going to? Tobacco Factory, Raleigh Road, in Bristol. Tobacco Factory, yeah? Yes. Uh, can I take your name? Yes, it's Miriam. Sorry? Miriam, dear. M Mir Maria, yeah? No, no, no. Miriam. 
My Miriam. Okay, Miriam. Okay. Yes. Are you in the temple station now? Yes. Outside? Yes, okay. yes I'm outside. If, you know the big clock in the main entrance? If you wait by there, we'll see you next... Uh, one second, let me see. Next five, six minutes, all right? The, the big clock? Five, ten minutes. The we'll see you next clock. five, ten minutes if you wait outside the temple station. He wants me by the big cock or clock. I, I didn't hear you. Sorry, ma'am. If you wait outside the temple me station, we'll see you next five, ten minutes time. All right, yes. Is that right? That sounds good, yes, yes. Okay. We'll see you shortly then. All right, thank you, dear. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 <laughs> Ooh, that was an angry hang-up. Hey there, guys. Yes, hello. Hi. I, I need to change the destination. Yeah. I was going to 10 canal. I huh? need to go to 12 canal. Oh, got it, ma'am. Okay. All right. Okay, All right. thank you. Thank right. you. Yes, thank you. No way. All right. Okay, so Miriam, some people li that listen to the uh, the show, they've been sending in questions about how I'm related to you, and um, let's dispel some rumors here. I'm I'm not directly related to you. It's just a family thing that happened, right? Yes. So um, you had a son, and he was married to my mom, and. Um, he passed before I, I, I came into existence because he was not my father. And uh, my mom, she uh, she remarried and, and had me. And so the only relationship here is that uh, uh, your daughter-in-law, my mother, um, who's widowed, you two still have some sort of rapport. Um, but I have no blood relation to you. It's just through um, what happened in the past. Yes, yes. Yes. Matthew was a good boy. And, and is that why he got shot while robbing a store? Yeah, he, he was getting me my medicine. Uh, okay, Miriam, he, he was shot by police in America. While robbing a store. No, no. Who's getting my medicine? You're down the road here. Okay, Miriam. Believe what you want to believe, but, you know, he was a bad guy. Did terrible things to my mom. No, he was a good boy. And besides, I didn't like him anyway. That contradicts everything you just said. Anyway, that that's to dispel the, the rumors and myths that I'm uh, directly related to this uh, this um, wonderful woman. Crazy bitch. What? I heard that. Yeah, don't worry about it, Miriam. Well, let's move on. Okay? All right, yes. You like us? Yes, this is Miriam. I need to change my destination once more. I, okay. Yes, I need to go to Irium Road. Where are you going? Irium Road, the Lennox Lay Hotel. Okay, all right, ma'am. Okay. All right. Don't worry. All right. Thank you. Yes, nice. thank you. Nice. Don't worry. Eh. Eh. Bye. Oh, all right. Hello. Hello, this is Miriam. I need yes, to change my destination. I, I, I need to be taken to the Liverpool Lime Street Station. Where? Liverpool. Liverpool. Uh, Ma'am, we are Bristol based, isn't it? So if you're in Liverpool or wherever you are, call the local taxi, no, no, all right? I, I'm here in Bristol. I need to be taken to the Lime Street Station. Where are you in Bristol? But the phone number you're using, love, it's not from here, is it? 
No, I'm not from here. I'm yeah, where where are you now? I, I'm at the Temple Mead Station. You, uh, you're not in Temple Mead Station, love. Yes, I am. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, the, the, you're calling from a landline number, love. I just bought it. I, I stole the phone up my way out. It's all right. It's all right, yeah? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, then. Have a good day, love. Bye. No, no, no. I need the ride. What's going on, love? I, I have amnesia. I, I don't quite remember. But I need... I need to get to the Hampstead Station. Right love, away. Love, I think you are not in Bristol. I am in Bristol. I've got the stool chart right here. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay, okay, right. No problem, love. Okay? That's a number one. Oh, okay, I love, want no. it to be a number four. Okay, love. If you're in Temomi Station, just grab a blue taxi, alright? Thank you so much. Bye-bye. No, no. Okay, thank you. No! Okay, bye. You bastard. You know, guys. Yes, hello. It's Miriam again. Yes. Hi. I need to change my destination. I, I've got no run around from the old spin. He needs me to come to the Liverpool Live Street station right away. Okay, I remember. Okay. Are you going to send the car? Okay, I remember. Okay. Are you just saying okay? Don't worry. I'll send it, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. It sounds Don't like worry. you lied to me. Thank you. Thank you. All right, I'll send it. I'll send it. Thank you. I think Thank you lied to me. I can't hear you. It's not set up that way. Yes. Good morning, the concierge desk. Malcolm speaking. Yes, hello. I need to make a booking. For the restaurant, the hotel? The hotel, dear. Sorry? The hotel. The hotel, one second, I'm trying to through. Yes. There's many holes there. Marriott.com slash about slash privacy dot I don't have the internet. Thanks for calling Marriott. Oh, yes. Thank you for calling reservations. This is Megan speaking. Can I please get your first and last name? Yes. It's Miriam Jones. Did you say Christina Jones? No, Miriam. Okay, and what can I help you with? Yes, I did make a booking for... For ten rooms, two beds, and ten people for nine months. For how long? Nine months. Okay, hold on just a second. Are you a Bonvoy member? No. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have a loyalty member name? No. I'm sorry? No, I haven't got any loyalty cards or programs or any of that. Neither do I want any. All right, hold on just a moment. Okay, what hotel are you looking at? Book? Yes, the Edinburgh Marriott Hotel. Ma'am, it's really hard to understand you. Which hotel did you say? Edinburgh. Marriott. The Marriott at, uh, what's the city and state? The state? No, no, no. Edinburgh. In the United Kingdom. Kingman? Oh dear. Edinburgh, Scotland. The Spring Hill Suites, Route 66, Woman Kingman? No! 
Scotland. I was transferred here by the, the hotel number. I don't know what to tell you. Sorry, and what dates are you looking into? Uh, yes, I see. Uh, September the 1st. And nine months later, which is uh, uh, March, I believe. Yes. Alright, you said two rooms for how many people? Uh, ten people. Okay, the max amount of people it'll let me do is six. All so right, then. We would have to do two that. rooms, ten people. Yeah, it won't let me do that, ma'am. Um, if we book them separately, we can try that way. Let me see if they'll let me. One room. Let's see if we can do five per. Ten rooms, ten people, two beds. Will that work? Mm -hmm. Are there any children? There will be by the end of it, but no, not currently. Ma'am, I can't understand you. What did you say? I said there's no children yet, but hopefully by the end of it, the, the end of the nine months, there will be this one. Yes. Our, our religion requires that all of our children are made in the hotel and they have to live there through the, the gestation period until they are born, you see. So that's why we need the nine months. Okay, and um, since I'm going to have to split that up, because like I said, it won't want me to put uh, 10 on here. It's, uh, the maximum guest is 5, so what I'll have to do is like do one room with 5 and then one room with 5. But how many children are going to be in one room? Would it be, did you say 6 total? Uh, 6 total, yes. Yes, that's so what we're planning three. on. That's what we need. Okay, so 3 for, well, no, it won't let me do more than... Uh, six guests total per room. So All right, let's so split it up. Each child will have two parents, so that's three to a room. And there's, uh, there's ten, ten adults. Uh, two of us are, are going to be the grandparents, so that's eight. And each eight two. person, each oh. of the eight will have a child by the end of it, so there will be, I don't know, there will be eight, and eight. so that would actually be a sixteen people total, not including me and my husband. So eighteen total. So we would have to split it up more because it won't let me do more than six guests per room, including. Yes, that's fine. Room. Yes, yes, okay. please do that. Yes. Right, so then it'd be probably three rooms that we'd have to do, because like I said, uh, the max will let me do is six. All right, well, wait. What if we do oh, one person per room? And I'll just sneak in the other ones. That'll be all right, right? Yes, yes, that'll be all right. All right, so sure. let me try... Let me do... Um, if I do one room with four adults, how many children will be in that room? With four adults? Uh, two children. Two children in that room? Okay, so then we're covering... Yes. Six people total. What are the ages of two of the children? Because they aren't born yet. They'll be conceived in the hotel and just stayed in the hotel and then born in the hotel. Yes. I can't understand you. What are the, their ages? They aren't born yet. They're still in the womb. Hold on. 
uh, unless unless you want to consider my son Jeremy, it's still a child in my eyes. But he's he's forty five. Okay, so it looks like um, our system's doing some updating because it's not allowing me to even search anything right now. Updating. I just can't you use a hair book? A good old appointment book. You might have to trek home back in about an hour because it's not letting me do anything right now. An hour? I see. I might forget all this in an hour. Yeah, try calling it in about an hour because it's not, I can't look into anything right now. Have you tried to turn it off and back on again? That yeah, works. Mm -hmm. Yes, try it turn the computer again. off and back on. I'm sure it'll work then. Hello? Ma'am, I'm still here. What were you saying? Yes, you have to turn the computer off and back on again. That'll fix it. Um, well, it's been doing this off and on. It's just an update that's happening, and so it's not going to let me do it right now. You're just following me off, aren't you? No, ma'am, of course not. It's been giving me these problems tonight. I can try it again in here. If you want, if you just want to hold in there, I can try it again, but... It's been yes, please. Yeah. Ma'am, what are the ages of the children? Yes. One is 45. The other is 60. That's, that's my, my, my son and his wife. And the other children, they aren't born yet. But they will be in the hotel. So we should have eight newborns by the end. Hold on, ma'am. I'm trying to get it to go. Yes. Okay, hold on just a second. I'm going to reach out to my assist team. I'm not hanging up on you. I'm just calling uh, somebody to see if they can help me. I'm making sure I'm doing this okay, all right? All right, yes. That sounds right. good. I'll be right back with you. All right, dear. Hello, Dima. Hello, dear. This is Miriam. I would like to speak to Marcus. What? Alright, she's getting a call back. Hello, Juma. Yes, hello, this is Miriam, dear. I'd like to speak to Marcus. Hello? Miriam. If you're outside, just buzz the door, please. No, I'm not outside. What a... What a rude cunt. Yes. Hello, Juma. Yes, what is your name? I'm inside. Hello? I don't know what to do. Welcome to the BBC. Welcome to the operator service. I'll coach Cordy for training quality purposes. Hello, how can I help? Yes, I have. Hello. I have news tips. Yes, hello. 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 Yes, I have news tips. In response, I'll need to disconnect the call. Respond, disconnect. Hello. Hello, how can I help? Hello. Yes, I have news tips. Pardon? I have tips for the news. You have tips for the news? Yes, yes. Uh, what? Sir Bob Marley, he's been found dead. Pardon? Sir Bob Marley, reggae artist, he's been found dead at his hotel in Edinburgh. Okay, um, okay. Thank, thank you for your call. Bye now. Yes. 
Hello? Oh dear. Hello, Jima. Yes, hello. I'd like to request a song. Sorry? I would like to request a song. Can I please speak to Marcus, actually? Um, he's not in yet. Oh, he's not in this morning. Oh, dear. Well? Yeah. Can I can request I a song? My... You want to request a form? Yes, yes. For what? What form would you like? What form? On the radio, dear. For the radio? Yes. Okay, um, let me take your... Morning. Well, let me take your um, name and number and I will leave a message. All right, yes. Okay, so what's your name, please? Miriam Jones. Miriam Jones. And what's your number? Yes, it's, it's 0117-934-3331. Hang on, 0117-534, and what was the last bit? 3331. 3331, okay, cool. And what would you like to request, a form? Yeah. Radio, Bob Marley, Jammin. Okay, you'd like to play Bob Marley Jammin? Yes. Okay. Um, all right, thank you very much. All right, thank you, dear. And tell okay, Marcus, thank you. Tell, please tell Marcus, I, I, I have will. the crabs, so he should get checked out. Okay, I'll, uh, I'll tell Marcus. All right, thank you. Thank you, bye. Bye. Hello, welcome to the show, everybody. Um, I do have a team. They're all just busy in the other room. Hopefully making me a cup of tea. Otherwise, I'm not going to be happy. Anyway, we've already had a request this morning from somebody called Miriam, who was... Um, oh, here they come. Here they come. Come on, team. In you come. We've had a request from Miriam, who's been in touch, who wanted to... Um, he wa she wanted to speak to Marcus, but Marcus isn't here today, and she requested some Bob Marley. Miriam, I'm so glad that you called in. It was lovely having a chat. Um, we will have some Bob Marley on for you next. Now this one is for you, Miriam. Oh, what a tune, Bob Marley, for your Wednesday morning. That one's to Miriam. Bay. In inverted commas. This show is proudly funded by our Patreons over at patreon.com forward slash AKSPA. Without them, the show would not exist. And Miriam would be left on life support in a nursing home. Yes, I don't want to go back. They're going to find out what I did to Bertrand. Yeah, that's exactly why we have Patreon. You can also listen to the podcast on Stitcher Radio. And you can also load it up in your favorite podcast app, following the directions located on travelswithmiriam.com. Thanks for listening. Goodbye.